Hello everyone, this is Firelight Steve, and I thought I'd make a, another video. Uh, this is Saturday morning at 10, 10 minutes after 10, Saturday morning, and I have to make a couple of inserts, and it's going to Switzerland. Uh, can you hand me that paper so I can read the name of the city? It's not there. What is it? I'll pause it for a second. Just minute. Okay. Um, I got to make a couple of inserts uh, this morning because my wife needs to send them out. Uh, they're going to Emmenbrook, Luzerne, Switzerland. Hey, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, we have sent like eight of them to like... Um, New Zealand, yeah, New Zealand, and we've sent like um, 10 of them to Canada, and it's like, now we're sending like two inserts to Switzerland, I'm like, man, that's around the world, <laughs> that's pretty exciting, now we have sent uh, over 500 units all over the United States of America, and these are really, really important, um, uh, let me... Let me just show you how I make my inserts. Um, they're pretty popular. They're $15 a piece, but uh, inserts are pretty nice. You can cut them down uh, shorter and make a short little uh, for your short bottle if you want. Or you can put them in your, your uh, lamp. So you can, you can do your inserts both ways. You can do in a 16 ounce cup like that or you can do uh, uh, in a 4 ounce or 8 ounce whatever you got in, um, in a glass I mean so you can just take and just take you can just take and cut this down just a little bit and then curl it to make a handle on the side um, but whatever you want, I mean, it's 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 copper, so you can bend it up any way you want. So there's that. And then of course uh, I I include I include a squeeze bottle and some cotton wicks because um, the forever wick will will last forever. The cotton wicks will will burn. Um, they'll burn up, but they they last for quite a while. I like including cotton wicks because they're pretty cool. Anyways, you take your bottle and you fill it up with all, uh, lamp oil, and then um, then you put a few drops of lamp oil on top of your carbon felt wick or your cotton wick, and then you just place the fire right on top of your carbon felt wick, and and you may have to adjust it a couple of times before it gets right. <clears throat> Yeah, you may have to adjust it. Uh, you may have to blow it out and adjust it up or down. It's messy, but once you get it right, then it's right. Then you won't have to adjust it again. Then you can just put a few drops on there and light it, and then you got it. All right, let's get busy. Let's get busy, huh? My wife is waiting for a couple of inserts, so I'm going to make them for you right in front of you. These are going to Switzerland. I have my bag full of coppers. <laughs> I don't know if that's adjusted right or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I think it's, I think it's all right. Let's get busy. Here we go. Go right to the line. Thirty inches. Take a copper. Take a copper. It doesn't. It's not really real in the picture there. <laughs> now every copper I drill a little hole 
you can see that hole I drill a hole in the top of it. Anyways, uh, I do that so that I can stick my wire kind of in the hole a little bit. And then I do my wraps. Man, alive. Uh, then I'll do my then I'll do my wraps. See? One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Eh? That's how that looks. And then I take my needle nose pliers and I take that wire out of that hole. And my, my hands are sweaty. I can't work with sweaty hands. <laughs> sweaty hands are horrible. <laughs> Anyways, let's see here. All right. Take that wire out of that hole. Like that. Okay, and then you just kind of straighten that up a little bit. And then kind uh, of fold it, fold it around, and then that slips up and down. See that kind of slips up and down. I do that for a reason. That way you can take it in and out, and it won't slip off the the wick. That way it won't go past the flange. That's the only reason for the flange. Is just for that fact. You don't need a flange to make this work. Okay, so then I got my got my two inch uh, dowel from Home Depot, and I cut. Um, this is a little bit. This is a little bit bigger than half inch. The hole uh, it goes down in there, probably a quarter of an inch, whatever. And then I took my hacksaw, or not my hacksaw, but my jigsaw, or whatever, and I cut one groove. So this is what I do with my insert after I've put my wire on my insert the right side up see I take it like that and and see come on now and put it right down in that hole like that ah. and then see that the wire and everything goes down see how that goes See how that's like that? That's pretty easy from there. From there you just just keep keep going the same way. The same way you put the wire on your copper, you just keep going the same way around your around your uh your two inch dowel. Until it's right about there. And then you just simply whoop straight up. <laughs> it's like that, see? Voila. Just like that. Voila. There you go. That's one insert. Pretty simple. Real simple actually. <laughs> with the right jig and you just kind of straighten it up and you take now I use a great big blanket of carbon felt and I cut them into strips and these are little strips that I've cut off of my big blanket but you take about <laughs> you take about Two and three quarters. So two and three quarters of an inch. Alright. Oh, that went right in there, did it? 
damn it. Let's get that out of there. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's not gonna burn anyway. Yeah, two and three quarters. Then you take and just take about four slits. You go one, two, three. Not four slits. I'm sorry, just three slits. Makes four legs. And you fold them in half. And you just push it right up through that insert. And that pipe is a, this pipe is, is an inch and a half long. That's all it is, inch and a half. This is going to Switzerland. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Like I said, uh, put your accelerant, put your accelerant on top, put your flame on top, uh, if it's not the right size, blow it out and readjust it. And to readjust it, you just take it like this and you go up and down like this. Up and down, up and down. Just just, just very, very slightly. Just a frog's hair. Just really, really slightly. And so... You never have a problem. My videos are always too long. <laughs> there we are. I will see if I can fit it in there. See if it fits just right. No. If it doesn't, I just make it fit right. And I just kind of bend it over the edge like that and uh, mm -hmm. voila, just like this one. <laughs> Just like that. Hmm. Hey, this one's going to Switzerland. Not the bottle, just the insert. Hey, she paid. She paid for just the insert. So that's going to that's going to Switzerland. Now, like I said, you can you can cut this down if you want, and then curl it and make a small one for a small bottle, or you can just leave it, or you can curl all this up into one big ball if you want. Do anything you want with it. Going halfway around the world. Oh, it is going around the world. <laughs> Take a, any type of vessel that you have and you put right in and then you pour some olive oil in there or whatever you want. It'll burn safflower or, or um, avocado oil or you know corn oil, anything really. I like olive oil because it burns cleaner. It burns cleaner. You just kind of need to have the wick in the middle of your vessel, you know what I mean? Just like that. Well, there's one going to Switzerland. <laughs> Let's make another one. Okay, grab an insert. Uh, see here, that's uh, a copper pipe. I've got a hole. I've got a hole in the top of one. Uh, that's the top. <laughs> grab about thirty, about thirty inches of this. And then, 
adjust this a little bit so you can see. Let's see, find that hole. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. Like that. Hands are sweaty. Is it hot in here? Huh. Must be hot in here. Air conditioner's off. Alright, so. That's what it looks like after after I took the wire out of that little hole. Straighten it up a little bit. Moves up and down. Moves up and down freely. That's what it looks like after I took it out, and it moves up and down freely. And then, take and put it in my jig, push it down, and then uh, around we go. So it kind of looks like that, it has kind of a handle. Then you go whoop, straight up, <laughs> and you've got your handle. Just like that, see? Just like that. Yeah. I always test it out, every single one. So that when you get it, it'll be perfect. You know what I mean? Let's see then. I have a guy on here. Three quarters. Two and three quarters of an inch. Two and three quarters of an inch. Here we are. And I go up about an inch or so on the felt, inch and a half or whatever. And it kind of fold it in half and then just feed it right up through the bottom. I grab it on top, I pull it up through like that, I pull it up through like that, and then, then I can take, and then I can take and pull it down, I can pull it down and adjust it, see, like that. Yeah. Like I said, if the flame is too high, you take and poke it with a with a, a Phillips a Phillips screwdriver to poke it down, or you pull it down. If the flame is too small, you push it up just a frog's hair and relight it, and you just adjust it. And then after you get it adjusted, the flame will be just right. No smoke it should be about an inch tall, three quarters to an inch tall. The 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 flame. You can see. Beautiful, strong, one-inch flame. Gorgeous flame. These inserts work. You can see that these inserts work. Beautiful, strong flame. Lasts forever. Oh, all you have to do is add more oil. See, here's another one. Nice, strong flame. Okay, enough. Here we go. Again, if you want to help me out, if you want one of these, go to my website, www.dnffarms.com. 
and uh, you can go ahead and order one put all your information in there and that'll tell you how much the shipping will be oh that one that one's like perfect see now that one's sitting there beautifully I mean gorgeous man look at that plop it in there it's lined up in the middle perfectly and uh, there it is there's my two inserts going to Switzerland yay me <laughs> <laughs> Switzerland <laughs> around the world <laughs> I'm pretty excited anyway $15 a piece all right YouTube love you guys take care give me a thumbs up subscribe all right we'll do another video next week I don't know what it'll be about probably be about some of these lamps that I've, some of these inserts that I make. I don't know. It could be something different. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, we'll talk to you, uh, we'll talk to you next week. Okay. Firelight Steve here. And you can go to Instagram too if you want. Firelight Steve. That's my handle. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.